Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Jay back with another video. In today's video, I'm giving you my honest opinion on everything new in chapter 3 and kind of explaining why I think certain ways and if I think this is a good chapter, bad chapter, whatever. So we're going to start off with the map and I feel like the map is mainly why I'm enjoying the game this season because during chapter 2 we really didn't have any like huge map changes and to me I think the map plays like really well so far I mean there's some some pacing issues but I feel like it's not too big of a deal right now especially because we have tilted and other things coming throughout the season and so on and so forth but I, I'm really enjoying the map. It's nice to see the biomes. It's nice to to just feel like so refreshed because you're not playing on the same map, going to the same places for forever, which is kind of what chapter two was in my opinion, where we were just stuck on the same map basically every single season and it just, it, it was never refreshing at all. And now I'm gonna start moving into the guns. Um, I feel like the guns this season are kind of lackluster. Um, I like the idea of like the all new weapons and stuff like that like it, it really is refreshing it's kind of nice but at the same time like the last time something like this happened they had like makeshifts and primal like and, and that kind of sucked to be honest I just think that these new weapons need a little bit more balancing and by that I mean that the MK itself is is a really good gun. I, I actually kind of like it even as a controller player. But I feel like they need to, to lower the fire rate a little bit or like nerf the damage a little bit. And it'll be like really balanced. I know there was a small update, but I'll get into that later. Uh, I think the Ranger AR needs needs a little bit more of a buff than what it actually got. Because uh, it's, it's kind of useless to pick up. You never see anybody running it over the MK. And uh, rightfully so, the MK is really good. And the SMGs, I feel like the SMGs are are completely broken. I mean, the only thing that's like really bad about them is the reload time, because like the green SMG has a higher DPS than the gold P90, which is what we're used to. So that's uh, interesting, but uh, it, it kind of leads to a spray meta, and. I feel like Epic kind of intended for it to be a spray meta because everybody's coming back to check out the new chapter, right? People that haven't played in a year, two years, people that aren't skilled very mechanically like most of these players are nowadays that have been playing the game. So Epic kind of intended like, hey, we're going to put the spray meta in the game. It's going to allow for newer players and people that are coming back to enjoy the game more because they're not getting full piece one pump by... You know, Timmy, who's been playing since day one and hasn't stopped playing, and, you know, plays the game eight hours a day. And leading into that, I'm going to talk about the shotguns. I feel like the auto shotgun is completely useless. It does hardly any damage. The reload time is horrendous. The pullout time is horrendous, but they just actually put out an update that helped the, the pullout time a little bit. I just, I feel like it's a worse version of the attack, and I didn't think that the attack could be worse than how it already was after it got nerfed, because it did used to be better than the pump, like early chapter two days, and yeah, it's, it's kind of useless, not gonna lie, uh, most of Arena I've played this season, I've been double SMGing because it's just far more powerful than carrying a shotgun, but now that they've actually buffed at least the striker pump, I've been carrying one of those, which is... It's honestly just a worse pump, like damage-wise. Uh, it feels better to use now than they they fixed the, the accuracy on it. They made it like a tighter spread, and the damage is more consistent. But like the gold one hits like 175 in the head, and the blue pump did 180. So uh, the meta, in my opinion, just isn't really the best. Um, it's good for new players, and it's not really horrible to where I'm like, I don't even want to play the game just have to adapt and get used to it and the snipers I'm so happy snipers are back and snipers are the most balanced they've ever been now don't get me wrong they feel kind of bad when you're used to 
how snipers were, but I really agree with this change and I like to change the snipers because it doesn't um, it doesn't matter like what sniper they have if you're 100 100 you can't get one tap headshot, which is different, but I, I think it's a really good change. I also forgot to mention um, that aim assist is completely horrendous right now. I mean, it's so, so bad. And they, the fact that Epic came out and said that this is intentional kind of hurts me because as a controller player, we're already at a severe, severe disadvantage compared to keyboard and mouse. And it just feels like aim assist just cuts off sometimes. And it's like, I don't know, it's like Epic hates controller players almost. I mean, they took away our scope sensitivity. They haven't brought that back. That sucks because I love sniping. I love sniping so much. But I can't flick shot because I have to run a low ADS so I'll be able to hit shots at a far distance because aim assist is lackluster. And because of that, I can't flick and snipe how I want to snipe. And it's kind of frustrating. And now they've nerfed aim assist even more. So it's like, what am I supposed to do? I mean, sometimes when I hop in a box, it feels like I have no aim assist at all, and it just, I, I don't really care for it. I really think that aim assist needs a buff, and so does controller. I think controller needs a reset on release option to be able to compete against keyboard and mouse's reset, scroll reset. And I really, really want Epic to bring back scope sensitivity. It, it means so much to me, and I know there's tons of other controller players that love to snipe. I mean, from sniping on Call of Duty and other games, we have a sensitivity, and it would really be nice for Fortnite to bring that back. The heals this season are really good. I, I like the heals. You know, we have big pods, minis like we're used to, splashes, but this med mist is really, really good because if someone's pressuring you, it ain't like you can really get it off because of the animation time, but it's so good for like surviving in storm or whatever, and the fact that you can heal while moving is, is so good and you can heal your teammates with it too it, it's like I, I really really enjoy the the madness feature along with the guzzle juice that just got buffed it's like a weird slurp juice and i like how you can't like you can't use it in storm because all you all it does is heal you until you take damage again so whether you're in a fight or you're in the storm whatever I, I like the whole concept of it and i like that epic is coming out with more heals and different unique healing items now I'm going to get into the, the new mechanic of uh, the chapter, sliding, which I think is, is fun, and it's really going to increase the skill gap over time, I feel like, but on controller, me being non-claw, non-paddles, so just normal controller player, right, my, my jump that I've changed to right stick, so my crouch is X, so I have to like hold that, so it's very hard to like slide while doing a lot of like building and editing and stuff like that. So I'm going to try and get paddles in the future, but uh, I really like to change. Uh, it's so good, like sliding down hills. It's easier to move around the map. And speaking of moving around the map, the only real mobility we have, other than like swimming and sliding, is launch pads, which I kind of enjoy. There are a few rifts around the map, which are really nice. I really enjoy those. I enjoy the vaults around the map. It, the loot's not overpowered, but it's also like not completely useless like it's actually like pretty good loot and it's pretty balanced so i'm i'm personally enjoying this season and i'm looking forward to grinding it i just think that the weapon pool needs to be balanced a bit more i think those snipers are like perfect that's really the only thing in the weapon pool in my opinion that is like perfectly balanced you don't need to touch them whatsoever but th this season's looking up we already got an update spider-man mythics in the game it's really fun to play with. It's not really overpowered. I mean, movement, I guess, is overpowered with it, but Epic did a good job of balancing that. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to this new chapter. It looks very, very promising. Well, I think that's really gonna wrap up uh, my ideas on the season. I'm sure that I rambled too much and you really can't make sense of what I said or whatever, but I was just kind of speaking my mind on things. Um, this is probably one of the best games that I've had throughout this chapter that you've been watching in the background. So I'll let you finish watching that. Hope you enjoy it. Watch it to the end. I don't want to spoil it, but man, it's tough. Um, don't forget to smash that like button. Go ahead and comment something down below. Comment poop if you want. I don't know why you would. Yeah, okay. Um, tap that subscribe button. It's free. 
means the world to me. We just recently hit 100 subscribers. That's freaking awesome, dude. And yeah, check out my other socials. And I'll spin your boy Che. I'm out. Peace. No, that's the best game I've had all season.